Hi everybody, uh, today I'm going to be doing a Dollar Tree and a Dollar Rama haul. I will, um, our Dollar Tree up here in Canada, everything's a dollar twenty-five, so um, you can look at that. And the Dollar Tree one, I'll show you the prices because they range from, I um, mean the Dollar Rama one, it ranges from a dollar to four dollars sometimes. So, so first off, I'm just gonna move myself a bit better here. Okay. I absolutely love these onion ring chips. Dollar twenty-five. They taste just as good as our Humpty Dumpty ones. Some of the other ones at other dollar stores brands, they taste like crap, and they just taste like styrofoam. Those don't. Now you have to eat those within a day or two because they don't stay fresh after they've been opened they will taste like styrofoam in about three days, as I found out. Um, this deodorant, it's a deodorant, so there's no um, aluminum in it. It's the same brand I get at the, at the grocery store um, or at the pharmacy for my kids and I. Um, it's normally two twenty-five to three dollars, dollar twenty-five. So I picked up a bunch of those. I will look at our our brand we got there, which is about the same. It's 34 grams, so it's not really uh, a tiny sample size. But they only had one um, scent, Fresh Breeze, but I'm not going to complain. I got um, one, two, three, five of those because my kids keep on stealing my deodorant or whatever. Um, and here, so this is some Christmas um, stuff, uh, brushes, pretty handle. We always run out of them, so that's for Christmas. I got a couple of these wooden boat kits for um, some donations for uh, Christmas, for the Cornetton and stuff. Nice sounding Christmas balls. These ones are nine big ones for to make Christmas ornaments or put, just put on the tree. So the dumpsters pita pockets. I may I used them today. They were dollar twenty five. Sometimes our Dollar Tree has bread. Um, we don't have a fri uh, uh, freezer section. Our fridge section only has pop in it. We have love. We have love, like canned and box foods. But I picked this up because I'm like, okay, a dollar twenty-five. It's good for a couple of days, and for my kids' lunches because it's a thicker pita. I normally get the thinner pita ones, and they're not very good to try and open up to make a pocket. But I did that today with these, and they were starting to fall apart. So I don't know if I'm just suck at uh, doing pitas or what. So. They won't go to waste. We'll use them with hummus that we have. Or if we don't have hummus, I'll make it another brush. This is um, really big crayons for a gift. And, oh, got these treat bags. To do, I do a few cookie exchanges with friends. Um, and a couple of them like to do baskets of them, so I picked up a couple. These two of them in the package for a dollar twenty-five, cheaper than the store. I got another one of these for donation gift. Some more meat, um, smaller size bells. So this is twenty bells. They had also a package even smaller, but they sounded more tinny, so I didn't like them. I've got all green ones. Because my youngest daughter loves green, so. Oh, I got some. These ones have coffee cups and mittens, hot cocoa, um, loot bag, 30 of them, Ziploc ones, for uh, treats for some people. Also here, I smelt, there was two of them. This one's uh, black cherry wax melt, $1.25. It smells really good. Um, I picked up 
the wax melts before when I've gone to the States to the Dollar Tree. Um, but I haven't gone there since... I didn't go even last year. It's been like two years since I've gone to the States for shopping. So, oh, some more um, candy bags. These ones are 25 I plan to do a lot of baking. You'll see on my channel, I'm hoping to do 24 days of desserts, baking, and stuff in December. So that's my goal. <laughs> Whether that happens or not, I don't know. Um, here is uh, some other Ziploc bags. So these would be cute for sending to the school or that. Um, I picked up some fabric softener sheets. I don't use them in my dryer. I like to put them in the air vents or in suitcases when we're not using when we're not using them so it keeps them nice and smelling or in drawers. So because I don't I don't use any fabric softener in my laundry, I have these dryer balls. So but they sm I have I go around and smell stuff. These I got for a gift for my Nephew, some stickers. He's really big into cars and fire trucks. Fire trucks and trains are big things. So. And then these ones are six big bells. And I've got I think enough bells. I'm going to be making some Christmas decorations with them. I bought these plates for um, cookies for donation and stuff like that. So, um, or also to just eat on Christmas or during the holidays. Then I don't have to do a lot of dishes. Um, oh, so this is awesome. This is chalkboard tape. Look how big of a roll it is. There's how much? Um, five meters, so that's 5.5 yards. I got a couple of those. Those I'm going to put on some jars in my cupboard to be used for um, like pantry stuff. So like my flour ones or breadcrumbs or whatever. If I make, um, I have one in there with a brownie mix that I made from scratch and one, my own version of Bisquicks. So, and I got that for donation. Really big, thick. Like, look, look how thick that is. $1.25. At our Dollar Tree, our coloring books are, I think, $1.50 or $2. And this is like really good quality. Um, lots of colors. And then I got this one for my nephew. He loves trains. And I got two of these. And that's from the Dollar Tree. And so this is the old one. It's a little bit bigger. It's 63 versus 34. But I paid more than twice for this one, so this is still a great deal. Dollar twenty-five. I can't go wrong if they if we had other um, ones, we uh, we would do them. But now I picked up some rain ponchos. I picked this one up a different one, but I haven't. This is also from the Dollar Tree. Some rain ponchos for emergency uh, rain. This one is magnetic Velcro. So I can uh, stick it on um, magnetic tape. Well, I, th I think it's just Velcro. Oh no, it's magnetic as well. Okay. So, that was from Dollar Tree. I like that. Yeah. And I got some more permanent markers to write on uh, a Ziploc 
freezer bags. And then I got a bunch of face masks. There's like two per package for I could Then I got leeches in the grocery store. These are expensive. They're like three or four dollars for a can. But they were a dollar twenty-five. I'm like, okay. They're super yummy. They're cool if you take the canned lychees, like I'll look at them here. If you take the canned lychees out and put a mar maraschino cherry in the center, they look like eyeballs, red eyeballs. <laughs> Great for Halloween or to scare people. I got this for my youngest. She likes that scent. Oh, and got apple crisp wafer. He's a uh, Wortman brand. The Wortman brand in the grocery store is, I think, two dollars, maybe two twenty-five. I got bright green duct tape because we have suitcases that we bought and they have a crack, but it doesn't affect their because um, they're hard shell suitcases in the corner, and they're also bright green. So I brought some bright, bright green duct tape to fix them. Um. And that's it from the dollar thing. I think. Yes. Now, from Dollarama, we had vitamins, vitamin C, 90 chewables for $4. They had some. Uh, lights for two dollars. Um, the Sepracol cooling cough drops. These in the grocery in the pharmacy, the Sepracol, they really work really well. Um, but they're like three or four dollars for a package. This was a dollar. Yeah, if there's not a price on it, then it's a dollar. So. <coughs> Uh, picked up some mandarin oranges. They were two for a dollar twenty-five. And then they had some amazing candles for sale. Um, we smelled them. So this is old Williamsburg candles. This one with the jar and the lid is two dollars. So it's a you know, a, a medium candle. And then I got this cute jar that's holding a whole bunch of, these ones are pine. Pine candles, so and they smell like trees. Um, three bucks. So, so after I used the tea lights, I was hoping, I was thinking of using the tea lights in my warmer. Take them, take them out of the metal thing and put them in my warmer. Then they had ones in little mason jars, so you can use the jars after. This one's creme brulee, old Williamsburg. This was a dollar fifty, so the small jars were a dollar fifty. I got these. My youngest likes the texture of them. Like a fidgety toy. Yep. Apple. <laughs> These ones are apple. Again, uh, $3 for 21 tea lights. Not 20, 21, because you have to be different, right? <laughs> paper. They wrap each one up in paper uh, to prevent breakage, so. This one is ginger. It smells really good. And not, not really Christmassy, so it'll be good outside of the Christmas season. Oh. Oh. <laughs> My oldest really likes these emojis. This was $1.25, so I thought, oh my gosh, that's cute. 
this one we've already started burning. This one was Cranberry Manor and Mandarin. So this one was a larger jar. So it was three dollars. Oh, it smells so good. And that is about four days of burning it for four or five hours a day. I always blow it out when I leave, so it's all. Um, this one's red velvet cake. It was dollar fifty. Comes with mason jar, which I can use afterwards. And then I got this one of oh, another one of ginger. Um, my daughter was with me, and she smelt them all and picked the ones that were. The nicest smelling. I don't have my receipts. Okay, st stupid cat. <laughs> my stupid cats decided to try and do off-road climbing and knocking things down. Um, so, um, but basically the Dollar Tree were all a dollar twenty-five plus tax, and except for food items here in Canada, and all the stuff in the Dollar Rama was. Uh, whatever their prices I said, because they're marked on them. If there's no price, then they're a dollar. And, uh, but it was like, I'd say about in total for both of them, maybe, maybe 70 or so. But there's a lot of uh, Christmas gifts in there. So I don't usually buy candles. Um, that much because I don't like spending the really expensive prices like a Bath and Body Works. Um, I will go there sometimes when they have a sale, but I can't justify those prices. Now, getting good quality candles at the dollar store, like $4, $3, I can spend that. <laughs> More than that, I, I can't justify that on something I'm going to burn. And also, I like the fact that once I'm done the candle, I have a jar afterwards. I'm always big on repurposing and not necessarily uh, throwing st stuff out. Um, but that's about it. So this is from Canada. So if you ever come to Canada, we do have Dollar Tree and we have similar stuff. Uh, some of the stuff there I've seen in other people's Dollar Tree hauls of the Christmas stuff. I was there yesterday picking up these things. They did have the mailboxes and the tins and stuff like that. But here, instead of a dollar in the States, they're dollar twenty-five. So even with the exchange rate, it's about the same. We just have less um, options. Um, but what I like between the dollar I like between the dollar rama and dollar tree is they're completely different um, things. So there's not usually the same thing in both. They're similar, but not the same. Like at our dollar rama in our kitchen section. Almost all of the kitchenware and spatulas and all that stuff are Betty Crocker brand. And they're like $2 or so, maybe $3. Um, so they're a good brand, but they're cheaper than getting them at Walmart. So go and check out at the dollar stores for some gift ideas or some supplements to your gifts or some stocking stuffers or some gifts some stuff to donate or whatever because they're actually most of them are pretty good quality for the price you pay like a coloring book is a coloring book you're it, it's not a cheapy one like i remember when i was a kid there were some that were really cheapy and that these are like name brand ones that at walmart are two or three dollars like almost sometimes the exact same thing like i bought stuff at our dollar store that was, you know, a dollar or three dollars while at Walmart was like seven or eight. So I'm like, mm, hello. And the last time at the Dollar Tree, they had, um, you know, the red package of, of raisin bread, the expensive one, old maid or whatever, like the, yeah, for a dollar twenty five at our store on sale, it's two fifty. So, I mean, even if it's due in about three or four days. Throw it in the freezer, because I don't know about your family, but my family doesn't go through raisin bread that quickly. So, there's some ideas to get at your store, or travel up to Canada. I live uh, 
in Canada, the suburb of Ottawa, Ontario, and these are from both uh, stores in Canada slash Stittsville um, on Hazeldean Road. So, please click like, share, and subscribe, and uh, comment below of some ideas to look for at the Dollar Tree or other dollar store type of ideas. And maybe some ideas um, for Christmas decorations with those bells, because I really like bells. My youngest daughter loves bells, so I want to make some really cute decorations with them for our tree. Bye! And then we have these hot buffalo wing Snyder pretzel bites, pretzel pieces. They were $1.25. My husband, we picked them up for our trip, and my husband really liked them, so we picked up some more when I saw them. And also, there was um, some body wash. This has a really nice smell. Dollar twenty-five at Dollar Tree. I think I cut them all.